We're hearing from a man who says he's already feeling the effects of Florida's new health care rule. He and opponents say it restricts Medicaid insurance coverage for transgender people. Today, a lawsuit was filed challenging the rule. Nico Clemens is live for us in Tampa with reaction to the suit. Yeah, well, here's the lawsuit, 84 pages, filed on behalf of four transgender people, including one man from Hernando County. They all say this new rule is cruel and deplorable. Taking away our health care is hurtful, wrong, and dehumanizing. LGBTQ plus and health groups are fighting back against Florida's new health care rule. This exclusion is discrimination. A lawsuit challenges the rule, which would limit transgender care. It reads, transgender Medicaid beneficiaries are denied coverage for gender-affirming care to treat gender dysphoria. The suit filed against the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration. A targeted and politicized attacks on our community are not allowed to stand. The rule prohibits Florida Medicaid from covering, quote, services for the treatment of gender dysphoria, including puberty blockers, hormones, surgeries, and any other procedures that alter primary or secondary sexual characteristics. It's a hard and hurtful thing to have my care taken away. It's a difficult time for August Decker, a transgender man and one of the four people suing state health officials. The Hernando County native is now scrambling to find a way to pay for his medication. I take weekly testosterone injections as treatment for my gender dysphoria. Due to this new rule, I cannot afford my prescription anymore because it is out of my monthly price range. A recent AHCA report found several services for treating gender dysphoria are experimental and investigational with the potential for harmful long-term effects. A spokesman responded to the lawsuit Wednesday saying, under our rules, only treatments that are found to be safe, effective, and that meet medical necessity criteria may be covered. But Decker says they're not going away. I hope that this lawsuit brings light to this issue and our lives so that we can all collectively live with dignity, health, and well-being. One other plaintiff in the lawsuit is a 12-year-old transgender boy in Sarasota County. The lawsuit asked the court to find this new rule unlawful and unconstitutional. Live in Tampa, Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.